Salutations everyone, my name is Silta and welcome to the video. As you know, I'm primarily a commentary channel who delves into trendy topics on the internet about different subjects, but today I'll be delving into a very different type of commentary video. There's a video game I enjoy playing called Warframe, and for those of you who play Warframe, you know that there are many, many controversies about the game. One of Warframe's biggest complaints is the difficulty scaling and the content that is put out. If you are familiar with Warframe, you are very familiar with the many, many arguments that come from the game's community about where the game should head. There are typically two types of players in Warframe. There are those who want a challenging experience for the end game players, and there are those who want to keep the power fantasy and be able to play the game easily. This of course is a big issue that turns into a vicious cycle with digital extremes, the players, and the challenging gameplay. I'll briefly go into the finer details of why this cycle is easily destroying Warframe's community, and how it's also deaf in the ears of digital extremes from the complaints of their community. The main problem that players have in Warframe is that the serious lack of in-game content for them to do. The spacious time between updates allows players to quickly speed through the new content within a week or even days. When content is introduced into Warframe, it's often a grinding aspect of the game that the players spend hours doing. This is fine by all means because Warframe in itself, and always has been, a grindy video game. The problem arises, however, when players speed their way through this content. If DE makes the grind too long, the community will cry in outrage. If they make it too short or too easy to obtain, then the community will get it done very quickly, get bored, and then frustrated from the lack of content. Then on top of that, you have the two sides of the community at odds over what the content should be exactly. For example, two villages were introduced into the game in the Old Blood update. The original goal of this update was to add custom, nemesis-like enemies to the game that could prove to be a challenging yet rewarding experience for the players to engage in for weeks to come. However, the content was rushed and pushed out, and the Kuvalichs were not challenging at all. They were very unfair to players because they could instantly kill you if you got their kill codes wrong in any way, meaning instant death for pummeling a lich. It felt as if the game was punishing you for beating down your enemy. Needless to say, many people are outraged by this quote-unquote mechanic, and rightfully so. When veteran players wanted a challenging experience, they didn't mean instant death for getting RNG wrong. This was a horrible approach to challenging players at all. However, because of the large number of complaints about the Kuvaliches killing players instantly, they were nerfed to the point where you could kill one within, let's say, an hour if you really tried. The required amounts of murmurs needed were lowered severely, making Kuvalich hunting incredibly quick-paced content that the players could easily go through. Within the week, players had almost, if not all, of the Kuva weapon variants after this change. Many people welcomed this change with open arms. Others, however, that were veterans to the game, felt as if this content was stripped of its main purpose and completely ruined it for them. This is a prime example of the poor decisions made on DE's part by the backlash of Warframe players. The content is never in the middle, and I understand that it can be very difficult and challenging to find a middle ground in a game focused on a power fantasy setting. If you nerf a little here, then buff a little there, there will be some parts in between that will also need adjusting. And in all that tweaking and adjusting, you have a community frustrated and bored with your game by the time you're ready to release the next content drop that often ends in more nerfing and buffing because it was rushed content. This the cycle in Warframe is damaging to everyone involved. I understand that DE are struggling very much to keep things interesting for their old veteran players, but they keep adjusting content to cater to either new or the power fantasy driven side of the community. And to be honest, I don't see an end to this cycle anytime soon. I feel as if DE is walking on broken glass with their own video game. They've fallen so out of touch with their community and are now paying the price. The only resolve I see in this situation is if DE stops focusing on the power play fantasy and try to focus on completely new content that won't really too much on the game's already established meta mechanics and elements. It's possible that the Daviri Paradox might just be that, but I'm very doubtful. Regardless, I stand in the middle. I play the game for fun, whatever's thrown my way, I play and I either enjoy it or I don't. What about you guys though? Let me know in the comments what you want Warframe to be. Do you prefer the power fantasy that gives you a lot of godlike skills and power, or do you prefer the more challenging content that requires more skill? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. But before you go, might I interest you in some of my other content? Recently, I've gotten into streaming on Twitch, and I'm now an affiliate. If you'd like, you can catch my Warframe streams every night at 10 p.m. I take, I take it back. It's just like, I just don't. What the hell? Is, what is that? What is that? What is, what is wait, that? What? What? what the, what? What? There's a link down in the description that you can check out. I also have a Twitter and I also have a Discord server, all of which you can find down below in the description. Check it out to keep tabs on me, be my stalkers, it's fine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider giving it a like. It goes a long way and helps my channel grow. It's all I can ask for. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye everyone.